Um, they had a Crockett episode and of course you weren't on that. Uh, but, but David Crockett was Arn Anderson was baby doll was Ricky Morton was, and Ricky Morton told the story at the end of the program that I had never heard before. And it was about when Tully Blanchard went on the 700 club, Tully had found God and turned his life over and become born again, Christian. And, and of course, being one of the boys, Ricky Morton and his wife wanted to, wanted to watch this and support Tully. And through the process of the program, as they're seated next to each other, either on the couch or laying in bed, watching it together, Tully Blanchard looks right in the camera, according to Ricky Morton and says, I'll never forget. We had been chasing all these girls and having sex outside of our marriage with all these girls and snorting cocaine. And my tag team partner and all that was Ricky Morton. And as those words fall out of his mouth, Ricky is seated next to his wife. Ricky's divorced now. Uh, <laughs> that was, uh, not a story I had heard before. Had you heard that story about the 700 club and Tully Blanchard? Ab absolutely. He, and he, uh, you know, it's not sure why he did it, but, um, he healed on me and iron, me and iron were right in the middle of it too. So what was that like? You know, when, you know, obviously we're proud that Tully's turned his life around, but boy, we're, uh, well, I, I, I think that I'm, I think that's great too, too, but you don't have to mention all anybody else that was ever doing anything with you to, to, to turn your life around. Right. You know, and, uh, you know, if we were drinking, I, I can assure you, and I'll, I'm going to say this <clears throat> so that look, this is, I make this very clear in the documentary. What I did and how I conducted myself had nothing to do with anybody else or the four right. horsemen. Right. Okay. Nobody forced me to do what I did. I didn't do it to be cool. It's just who I was. And, you know, and half the stuff that I am, am famous for is just me. It ain't Arn. It ain't Tully. It ain't Barry. It's me. Right. Famous or not famous for, or a story is being told about. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I, I, I just feel like that the Tully should have, should have done it without mentioning any of us. You know, you can, you don't have to, you don't use people as, as an example. But, um, you know, I, I didn't need any help getting divorced. So that didn't cause me to get divorced. It just, just me and, and um, first of all, a couple of beautiful wives and beautiful mothers and a couple of bad decisions. I don't even, I don't even think about it anymore because those are the decisions I made and they were bad. But, you know, uh, and that's one thing I'm going to give to Arn again. Like, I I'm, I'm feel like I'm, I'm bragging about Arn today, but, man, he kept his marriage together, and God, damn it, God bless him for it. It's hard. Yes. It could be, it's hard to stay married. And I, I bet if you did a survey of what the people that have been married or remarried back, back in our time frame, it, it's, it's a ridiculous percentage of the people that, that keep it together. And Arn and Aaron found a way. And once again, what I'm guilty of is nothing. Arn Anderson wasn't guilty of that. Well, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. What you did is what you did. It's not necessarily what Arn did. Exactly. Or Tully yeah. or Barry or yes. or anybody else. Yeah. It's what I did. So, you know, I, I, I don't, everybody just wants to put us all in the same ball. There's a reason they're making a documentary about me. I, I what did it say? What, what did that? guy tell me to say about me in life um i'm a complicated motherfucker <laughs> that's fair, <right? laughs> is, that fair? Like, is that a roundabout statement <laughs> no i think that's uh that's right between the eyes right there <laughs> i'm a complicated bitch. <laughs> yeah when it, whenever anyone asks uh me <laughs> occasionally i'll get that question oh, what's no. it like having rick flair as a father <laughs> and i'll either say interesting or complicated. <laughs> yeah. Well, as soon as you got married to the boss, you, yes. were, you were yanked off the tours. <laughs> I lost my jerseys when, when that happened. Huh? I know. Once upon a time, me and you were uh, on tour, and, hey, and we, would, hey, we were hey, drinking hey, hey, You and I were iron. You, you, were, <laughs> you, you and I were me and iron. <laughs> you, you took iron spot. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, then you got yanked off the tour. Iron got yanked off the tour, and... 
I just had to carry the torch by myself. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing the Lord's work. Right to Tampa. <laughs> Uh, Let me see, Atlanta by myself or Tampa by myself? (laughs) (laughs) Da-da! You made the right choice. Tampa's more fun than Atlanta. Oh, Oh, no kidding. Except when I'm with Charles Barkley. (laughs) That's different. I agree. Uh, 